Hi everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex and I hope this video gives you lots of money-making forex trading ideas. This is a quick video about good advice that I received very early in my forex trading training and development that changed my forex results forever. And why I'm making this video is I can see some really, really bad habits that other forex traders have. And these ha bad habits unfortunately develop because traders do not realize that they're happening, but also do, that they do not analyze the implications of their trading decisions. So let's move on. Now here's the advice that I got from my mentor about 15 years ago and it was incredibly good advice and the advice was really when placing a forex trade you should be relaxed, clear-headed, objective and confident and that you know what risks and rewards there will be as a result of your trading decisions. So the picture shows you the situation when I'm trading. I normally do have some tea around, I'm relaxed, I sometimes listen to music and I am taking my time analyzing the charts and making forex trading decisions. That has impacted my trading results and my life because it has become less stressful. Now the minute you hit the buy or sell decision after you have decided to trade, you must assume that you are a raving lunatic and incapable of making any rational decision about an open trade. So that is the advice that I got. And that principle has really helped me through my forex trading. So here are the guidelines. Before entering a deal, automate all the possible ways you want to exit the deal. So use following stops, stops, targets, all kinds of ways that you want to enter. So know how you're going to enter the deal. And sometimes it's difficult to program uh, uh, certain entries, exits, for instance. Some people like exiting before a major announcement or before a, uh, a weekend. And that can be either done manually or using scripts. So, but know that before the time. Before entering a deal, make sure that you're happy that the trade meets your entry criteria enough to give you a sense of confidence. You're never going to make the per perfect decision. When I do a deal, I can always see 20% selling and 80% buying, or the other way around, depending on what way you look at it. And that's the way I evaluate deals. Some, some are 70, 30, others are 60, 40, but make sure that the trade meets your entry criteria enough to give you a sense of confidence. Now, the important one here, it's a bit of a psychological thing, before entering the deal, make sure that you can stomach the loss. In other words, experience the pain before the time. You look at the deal you're about to enter and you say, look, if this thing goes bad, I'm going to lose 1% of my account and I can sleep easy tonight. It's not going to ruin my career. And that is the attitude you should have when entering a deal. No deal should ever be so important that it worries you. So by following those three steps, uh, what it does is encourages non-emotional active deal trading. So in other words, you don't need to get involved in an open deal at all because you've made all your decisions under very relaxed environment. You're confident, you're happy that if it goes bad, you can stomach the loss. So when the deal opens, there's no emotions. You've made your, your decisions. Now, here's the big one. These rules apply when using an EA. Now, a lot of traders don't realize that an EA is just a mechanized forex trading strategy. So when trading an EA, what you need to do is understand exactly what the entry criteria and the exit criteria for that EA is. And make 100% sure that you're happy with that before you even start using it. Now, when an EA trades, it often creates a lot of trades. So th the next thing that you have to do is regard the EA as a trading transaction. So you have to put your own stop and your own target for the EA. So let's say you're starting to trade a new EA, your target might be to, 
to get a 50% increase in your account. But your stop is the important one. You need to put a stop on that EA which says, if I lose 10% of my account, I'm going to stop trading this EA. As simple as that. But you've got to make that decision, not when your EA has made 50% loss. You've got to make that decision when you hit the enter button, when you activate the EA. You must say, I'm going to run this EA, and when it makes a 10% loss, I'm going to close it down because it is not trading properly. Very important. So this, these rules apply to EA traders as well. So the next guidelines is never do unplanned interference with an open deal because you are assumed to be a raving lunatic. You can do it if there is new and extremely compel uh, compelling evidence to do so. Now, the deal going negative is not compelling evidence. World War Three is closer to the kind of evidence I have in mind. The other thing you need to be aware of is that interfering with a deal is the same as making a new trade decision. So make sure you are in a very favorable trading state of mind. Your environment is relaxing uh, to make that particular decision. Also, don't rush. Analyze the impact, not only of the particular decision you're going to make, but analyze the impact of any new trades that might develop out of your decision so they don't so it's important to have that mental view is you need to evaluate every deal as a new deal or every trading decision which involves the closing or the opening of a trade as a new deal you need to mentally do that and the reason for that is that your risk return ratios will have changed tremendously your margin requirements may have changed considerably because uh, new deals have been entered into and old deals have been closed since you opened the deal that you considering at the moment so i hope i've given you some ideas on ways of improving your forex trading I certainly have found the minute I interfere with deals, uh, uh, things go bad. And that is why the concept of being calm when you enter a deal and assuming that you're a raving lunatic after your deal is a very good concept that has guided me through my trading career. And it has also taken the emotion out of my trades because I never worry about a negative deal. My main focus is always on creating sound decision making when entering the deal thanks for watching this video if you've liked it please give it a like if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe and click the bell but most importantly share this video you can do this in many ways message your friends send them emails or share it on social media on facebook on twitter and those kind of places so from me alex employee cheerio